hello and welcome to another video showing you how to um, get ready to start writing your PHP code you can use any text editor such as um, Microsoft Notepad to code PHP but um, I prefer to use integrated development environment ID such as Dreamweaver or um, you know Composer there's a lot of ID out there there's um, what's it called uh, N NVU yeah it's NVU yeah I think that's it that is it so there's a lot of um, um, a detail that you can use you know the reason why I'm choosing um, dream device is because of its ease of use so uh, I'm going to be showing you if you have a uh, dream right fine if you not you don't have to download it. you can use any text editor just like just said um, so I'm going to start by creating a PHP file Cl click on PHP file and if you switch to design mode you see it's completely empty but as soon as you insert a PHP tag PHP tag close the PHP tag if you now choose uh, switch to the design design field you can see that um, it already recognizes that you're using a PHP so um, let's write let's write out a statement um, you use echo to write out a statement so hello world don't forget the last semicolon so if we switch to the design view again you can see we cannot see the uh, text that we wrote in the source view the reason is because PHP is a server-side code so there's no way it's going to uh, show us a server-side code so the only thing it can do is to show us below in this area what we have written so uh, for us to preview it, we have to actually launch in a browser. And if I say I want to preview it in Internet Explorer, you see th this um, blue globe like um, icon represents browser. So if I click on it, it's gonna it's, it recognizes that I have Firefox and Internet Explorer. So if I say I want to view in Internet Explorer, right, it tells me that. To preview pages containing server-side code, you need a testing server, right? Would you like to specify one now? I'll say yes. So what happened is I have to set up a server. I have to make. Uh, I have to tell this PHP. I have to tell the file where to find my PHP server. So um, let's give it a name. Let's say um, test website. That's the name I want to call it. And what is the HTTP address of your site? I don't have any now. Click on next. Um, do you wish? Do you want to work with a server-side technology like ASP Code Fusion? Yes, I want to use a server-side technology. Which server-side technology you want to use? Is it PHP, my SQL, right? So click on next. How do you want to work with your file during development? Edit and test locally my testing server is on this machine yes this one applies to us where on your machine where on your computer do you want to store your files remember where we um, install um, uh, WAMP the last time it's gonna be in C on our C drive inside WAMP and inside the www directory that's where we want to save all our files so select that and it's going to you know populate it there click on next uh, communicate with your testing server using HTTP just like a browser so it needs to know the URL of your site root folder uh, yeah this is perfectly fine unless you specify another folder inside the www folder like maybe you want to specify a different folder for your website that's why you, you have to modify this otherwise just leave it as it is you can test it test the URL and it said the URL prefix test was successful okay next uh, when you're done editing your file do you want to copy to another machine no um, I would but not at the moment so I'll select now so if I do want to modify that again I'll go to my preferences and I'm sure you just want to set up our FTP server so we can upload as soon as we finish our work but not at the moment so that's it just give you the summary of everything you've done and click on done so now 
it's going to ask you to save the file you just created inside Adobe so um, I'll, I'll name the file hello hello world dot PHP, PHP. Uh, you don't need to include the PHP but <laughs> to be on the safe side let's include it because um, no actually because I said it should create a PHP file well it's perfectly yeah so now that is it so it works is hello world coming out uh, let's do a little bit of modification in the code let me modify the title to say PHP documents right that's it um, previewing the design can't show you anything unless you say previewing Firefox preferring Internet Explorer we're previewing it and that's the title to PHP document and that's the what we just type so that's how you set up I'm just sh I'm just showing this one to you know anytime you want to use any uh, what's it called um, text editor you have to make sure that you tell it where to find your server because unlike HTML or JavaScript which is only client side processing your PHP server side so they need to know which server is going to be processing the PHP file thank you very much